Hey folks, old guy is here. <laughs> and if you can see in the background, I am at the dreaded Delta Arby's. <laughs> but I, I figured in all fairness, I should give them at least one more try. It, I, I, I just figured that, that would be a fair thing to do. Now, I'm going to just kind of go over some of the issues that I had with these guys. <laughs> um, when the Wagyu beef came out the first time, um, I was there for uh, the first day. So uh, the product they had had to have been got, got to them, who knows, maybe a couple days, three days, four days. How many days beforehand, I don't know. But uh, it was rancid. It, I took a bite of that burger and that Wagyu beef was absolutely rancid. It was just, it was horrible. And <laughs> the manager, I don't know if it's the same one now or not, but uh, at the time offered me a regular roast beef in place of that. And, you know, not only was it half the cost of the sandwich, um, the roast beef wasn't that great. And I'm going to get to that here in just a minute. Um, so here recently, uh, the Wagyu beef came out again. And I thought, well, I'm going to order it up and, and try it because I'm going to, I'm good at giving people a second chance. So I, I went there and I ordered it and I got a, a Wagyu beef burger on a bun that was absolutely charred, burnt black. Um, and the manager made it. <laughs> the manager made it and didn't say anything either. I had to discover that for myself. Uh, and so on top of that, uh, the other times when I wasn't on making a video and I would go to get just a roast beef, uh, it wasn't shaved roast beef like you normally get in an RB sandwich. It was sliced thin if that makes any sense. It was a thicker slice and it totally changed the mouthfeel of the product. It actually, I think, even changed how it tasted a little bit. I didn't like it. I didn't, so I just stopped going there because it was just, you know, <laughs> a disappointment every single time. It didn't matter if I was ordering a special or, or trying to get a regular roast beef. So. Um, t today, for some reason, I just, I, I want a roast beef, but I don't want to drive the extra 60 miles to get one. <laughs> so I'm going to give them another chance and, and just hope that they, that they did it right. So I ordered a double roast beef. I asked them to put lettuce and tomato on it. And for some reason, it looks like this wrapper has been opened and closed like a few times. It doesn't look like a clean new wrapper, but anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, it does have tomato. Really? Where's the lettuce? Okay, the lettuce is on the on the bottom. <laughs> and the meat or the uh, tomato is on the top. Okay. Now, before, I do like the Arby sauce, so, but I'm not gonna put any on um, on the video. Uh, right now, I'm only concerned with how the sandwich tastes and whether or not they got that beef back the way it should be, because that was really my biggest complaint. It looks better, uh, I can tell you that. No, <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Really? Seriously. They fixed it. That actually tastes like an Arby's sandwich should taste. The bun is toasted properly. It's not charred black. <laughs> Um, it's got the right amount of meat for the order. And most importantly, really, 
that roast beef is cut properly. It's shaved thin. It's not, or it's shaved <laughs> roast beef. It's not sliced, thinly sliced. And what we were, what I was getting before was at least twice, if not thick, more than twice as thick as what it's supposed to be. And it really just, it, it made for a crappy sandwich. <laughs> this is much better. So, uh, the Delta Arby's, hey, they've redeemed themselves and they're no longer the crappiest <laughs> Arby's in Colorado, at least uh, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so, uh, yay, now I can come back and start doing some specials when they have them and I won't be afraid. All right, so I can't do this and, and not give it my old guy grunts, you know, I mean, all right, now I'm, I'm just rating <laughs> an Arby's sandwich for what it's supposed to be. And on that scale only, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10 old man grunts, Ugh! just because it tastes like an Arby's roast beef sandwich should. There's no other considerations on on that on those, those grunts given, because <laughs> ten out of ten is like super rare. Uh, but in this case, um, at least they got that right, and I'm so happy. So okay, <laughs> shout out to the new subs. I'm gonna head out, and I'll see every one of you the next time I'm out of the kitchen. Bye.